This may be a key link between dementia and the food that you eat, and it's something that almost nobody is talking about. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter. If you care about your brain, follow this channel. Today, we're talking about two publications that were just published this year, looking at the correlations between microplastics and brain health outcomes. Now, for background, microplastics are ubiquitous in the environment. But recent research suggests that one of the reasons why certain foods in the ultra-processed diet may be bad for brain health is because they have higher concentrations of microplastics. The first study, which was published earlier this year in Nature Medicine, was looking at microplastics in different organs in the body. What they found is that there was roughly a spoon's worth of microplastics in the brain in people who had died, but that that number went up multiple times higher in people who had died with dementia. The more recent study, which was published looking at this hypothesis, this connection between microplastics and risk for brain issues, specifically dementia, looks at the fact that microplastics can induce inflammation, metabolic dysfunction, endocrine disruption, even carcinogenesis based on certain models, and then looks at the correlation between ultra-processed food and microplastics. So ultra-processed foods tend to have higher levels of microplastics than minimally processed foods. And this may be one of the reasons why eating a minimally processed processed diet is actually the best bet for the brain. With all of that said, it can get very scary to be concerned about microplastics all around us every day, and we can't necessarily get rid of all of them. Here are some top tips to decrease your exposure to microplastics. Number one, eat a minimally processed diet. Ultra-processed food, junk food, highly processed food tends to be richer in this microplastics. Two, don't use a plastic cutting board. Switch it out for wood or something else because microplastics, when you cut into the board, can get into your food. Three, don't microwave or heat in plastic containers. And four, in general, don't use single-use plastic containers if you can help it. That includes not using plastic bottles for drinking water. A recent study did indicate that glass bottles could have higher levels of microplastics than plastic bottles. However, the caveat here, it seems like those were coming from the lids. So if you use a glass bottle or a metal bottle, that's a great thing to do. Just make sure that the lid doesn't actually have a paint or some other coating that could be producing microplastics. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter. I will include the study links below. And if you're interested in more of this type of content, make sure you're following. I'll talk to you soon.